Hello everyone, this is Rushira. Welcome to my channel. In my last video, I gave a very high level overview of how support vector machine works. My today's video is going to be on implementation of a support vector machine for classification using scikit-learn library. Well, let's not waste any more time. First, start importing pandas as PD and I'm going to use the famous Iris dataset pd.readcsz iris please feel free to download the data set from the link in the description box below so here is the iris data set we have sepal length sepal width petal length petal width and then the variety of the flower our goal today is to predict the variety of the flower using these four variables so that if we have these four variables we can predict what is the variety of the flower Let's check how many varieties actually we have. So you can see we have Setosa, Versicolor, and Virginia, three different varieties. And also, these are also in screen format. We need to convert them to numeric data. So, variety, cell DF, variety. Not replace. So first take the Cetosa. Cetosa becomes one. Versi color. Versi color becomes two. And then Virginica. Virginica becomes three. Well, Look, now it becomes one and two. You don't see the two in between, it's fine. Next, I will check how many null values we have. If we have null values, we have to deal with it before we get into the model. Df dot is an a dot sum. So this will give you how many null values we have in each column. Oh. I was thinking they didn't. Okay, so here it is. So in each column, we have zero null values, so no null values. We need to define our training variable and output variable. Training variable is going to be these four variables. Okay, so these four variables, so we need to drop this variety from the df. df dot drop columns variety. And for y, the y means output variable. That means what we are trying to predict. So we are trying to predict this variety. So the y is going to be just this variety from the df. This is done. We will split the data set into training and testing portion. The training portion you are going to use to train the model and the testing portion will be used to evaluate the model if the model is working perfectly or the way we want or not. To split the data set, there is a train to split method in scikit-learn library. So let's import that from sklearn dot model selection. Uh, import train to split. Okay, now x train x test y training y crane test split the parameter is x y this x and y the test size 0.25 that means we are going to keep 25 percent of the data for testing or evaluation of the model and random state i'm going to put maybe zero you can use any of the integers it can be zero it can be two or it can be 98, it can be 45, anything. The data is totally ready for the model. Now, let's import the support vector machine from sklearn import svn. So, svc is svm, sorry, it's going to be smaller case svm.svc 
So we just called as we see. Now we will fit the data, the training data. X train, Y train. Our model training is done. It is that simple. And look here, we didn't put any parameter. So it will take all the default values. So for the first trial, I'm going to use only the default values. In the second trial, I will show you how to use some parameters. Let's test the accuracy score. So for testing the accuracy score, I'm going to use the testing data. X test, Y test. You can see we got 92% accuracy, which is very high. Now, if you want to see the predictions, you can also do that. Like as we see, as we see the model dot predict, I'll just put X test. You can see this is the predictions. And you know, one, two, and three, we already changed Setosa, Versicola, and Virginica to one, two, three. So you need to see which one is one and which one is two, which one is three. Now let's see if we can improve this accuracy score. Okay. So I will copy and paste it and try to put some parameters here. Now where to find the parameters? So here is the documentation of the support vector machine of scikit-learn library. Okay. So you can see the parameter, first parameter is C. C is the regularization parameter and its default value is 1. So what I will do, I will change the default value and use 0 0.1. Okay. There is this kernel. You have so many options and you can see the default is RBF. Is I will try the sigmoid. Let's try sigmoid kernel is sigmoid. Sigmoid. Okay, let's see if we can find any other parameter that is good. There is gamma. The default is scale, but we can use auto for RBF, poly, and sigmoid. So I'm going to use auto. Gamma, auto. There are other parameters here, but let's not worry about it. We don't have to tweak each and every parameters. This C and kernel, these two are really important parameters. And we also used gamma as well. Actually, instead of SBC, let's put SBC1. Now check the accuracy score. X test, Y test. You see, it's really pathetic, only 23%. Well, let's try some other stuff, like what if? Look, if I use poly, it becomes 94.73%, so it improves. Okay, I'm going to keep it. If you want, you can try some other kernels as well. When I'm working on a classification problem, the model evaluation is never complete without the confusion matrix. I always check the confusion matrix. Let's import from scanner.matrix import confusion matrix. For confusion matrix, we need true y, that means y test, and also the prediction y prep. So I'm going to use the SVC1. So put SVC1 here. And now the confusion matrix, put Y test and Y prediction. This is the confusion matrix. As you can see, we have only two false predictions. The rest of them are pretty perfect. If you are not very familiar with confusion matrix, and if you want to learn the details of confusion matrix, I have a details tutorial on that. I have the link in the description box below. Please feel free to check. Well, that concludes my today's video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe to stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching.